Autumn or fall is one of my favourite seasons to photograph because there's just so much colour around. If you go into a forest, you'll see the leaves have changed colour, all of the reds and oranges and yellows. And then when the leaves fall onto the ground, well, it's like you're just walking through pools of colour. So what's the best way to photograph that? Well, what I'm really looking for to say autumn or fall is a really colourful leaf. I'm looking for something that's red or yellow, a really bold colour. And ideally, I want it to be surrounded by some more muted colours so that it really stands out. This is a story of that coloured leaf. So let's go looking for one. Okay, now this floor is covered in leaves of all colours. We've got brown ones, green ones, but the two that have caught my eye straight away are these two yellow leaves here. They're looking pretty good, but what's looking less good is the actual surroundings. I like the look of the leaves, but I don't really want to photograph them here because the background of the surroundings doesn't look that great. Now, everyone's policy and belief on photography and art in general varies, but personally speaking, I don't like to mess around too much with my pictures. I like them to look as natural as possible. So there's no sky replacement in any of my galleries. However, I'm not averse to picking up an attractive looking leaf and popping it somewhere that looks a bit nicer. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the first background I'm gonna use is this mossy area here. I really like the textures. I love the green, it's providing really nice contrast against the yellow of the leaf here. I like that there also aren't any other leaves around here to distract you from the star of this particular picture. Remember, it's no different from taking a picture of yourself or of a friend in a portrait session. This is the subject. Let's put it against some different backgrounds. Move away any twigs or pebbles you don't like the look of. Remember, you're styling the shot. This is no different from doing someone's hair in a portrait or adjusting their clothing until everything's looking exactly the way you want it. And when it does, take your shot. And in terms of composition, I want to position the leaf so that this stalk and the main vein is going to go diagonally across the picture rather than straight up the middle. But it's all about experimenting with different compositions and positions until you find a shot that works for you. Alternatively, how about surrounding your main leaf with lots of smaller ones? So here I've got the main yellow leaf taking pride of place, but surrounding it are other leaves in various states of decay and colour and texture. They all provide a really nice contrast against each other. But the thing that really makes them stand out is the dark colour of the soil around it. It's important that some of that or enough of that shows through in the gaps. So if you find that the leaves edges are not looking well enough defined, just pull away, move away some other leaves, some twigs, anything that's detracting from your shot. Remember, it's important to style it to look the way you want it to look. And that, it's quite a nice still life autumnal composition. <laughs>